The workshop explored social interactions and connections between virtual and physical worlds using the latest software and hardware. The workshop was directed by Frederick Helberg, third year coordinator at INDA, Q from Melbourne University, and the founder and director of United Make and experienced designer Nandi Nobel from KTH Stockholm. The workshop uses DK2 from Oculus Rift, the current world leader in virtual reality technology, as a tool to explore the boundary between virtual and physical space by having people experience a 3D virtual world to develop interactions with the physical world. The workshop started with software and hardware training focused on the DK2. The user pulls the device over their head and cover their eyes while using it. The VR device blocks the physical environment from us and provides the user with a virtual world. Showing onto LED screen through to lens resulting in a stereoscopic view. We worked in groups of three and start to develop ideas of how we could use the new learned techniques and device to create social connections between the physical and virtual world. Each group developed and identified a different approach of creating social interactions using the game developer software Unity and the DK2. The outcome of the workshop was a social event for people to experience a connection shared by the virtual world and the physical world. One project explored the boundaries of collaboration across worlds and platforms in a massive installation, existing both virtually and physically and seen differently by all three players as their perception of the space was filtered through different light spectrums. Another project explored sonic spatial perception by creating exact replicas of physical spaces in the virtual space. But replacing or altering sound and its first source in both the virtual and the physical world. One project explores the sense of touch while immersed in, in an intangible world created by music, visual effects, and gravity. Virtual collaboration between people sharing the same space was also explored in another project where two players are on a quest to find each other in a strange and sometimes frightening world. The final result of the workshop aimed to create projects that can be shared and experienced through the internet. So students also documented the process with videos and create a manual of how to set up the physical scene and replicate the experience.